<laughs> okay. Uh, let me know what you <laughs> <laughs> I look a little bit better. Like, okay. D no, put it under the blanket. Okay. Be on the same length. See, I can just scoot back and then bam. But we're just gonna have a chill video. I'm in my sweatpants, you know. Okay. Three. Hey, guys. I thought you were gonna do it with me. I thought I was gonna do this one. Okay, you do it with okay. me. Hey, guys, this is Mikel. Welcome back to my Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys! Oh wait, no. Hey! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my very best friend, Victoria. Mm -hmm. I'm twisting. I'm a, I got a new chair, guys. Oh my god, they've been through me through thick and then I've had that ottoman that she's sitting on forever and I finally got a new chair, whatever. But today we're going to be do, talking about middle school advice. So like we, we learned thing or two in middle school and we want to share with you incoming sixth graders if you're going to seventh grade or if you're even still going to eighth grade and you still want to know some tips about how to finish your eighth grade year off strong this is the video to click on you know what i mean so if you want to learn more about advice on middle school and you have any questions just comment down below but before we get on with this video please comment down below and subscribe i really appreciate it and yeah let's get on with this video um victoria's over there because she didn't want to come in frame i guess but um here she is okay so um her follow her socials are going to be in the description box if you want to follow her yeah but you should follow her because she's a really funny gal <laughs> okay so the first topic we're going to talk about is how we went into school like how like going into sixth grade like what was our mentality going into sixth grade okay well my mentality i was ready for middle school i was so excited i literally watched middle school videos like two months before school started and i got my school supplies like two months ahead i i knew middle school wasn't gonna be like really easy because i mean i've heard so many stories like fake friends and stuff like that but i thought that that would never happen to me but we'll get into that later <laughs> but uh, I was ready for middle school. I knew the work that had to be done. I mean, at that time, I was in gymnastics, so I was very focused. So I was like, middle school was kind of like, felt like it was going to be a breeze for me. But obviously, that changed. But okay, and my mentality was, I actually was in a whole different school district. And I moved during the summer because my mom got a new job. And then we moved houses. So I had to move all the way from like... Fairly in Texas to Richmond, Texas, but I don't live over there anymore. If you already know, you can go watch that video. It's all over there. Link in the, the cars. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. But um, I was going to a new school. I didn't know anybody there. So I was very nervous. I was scared. I was like, Mom, no one's going to like me. I'm just going to be a loner. I'm going to be one of those nerds who just stays in the back of the classroom or in the front of the classroom and gets picked on. But that didn't happen because I always met this chica right here. But... I was, I was just very nervous. I was like, I was ready because I was like, hopefully I do meet friends. But I knew people already had their friend groups because I had a friend group in when I was in Pearland. And we still talk. But I had a whole friend group. We knew each other for six years. So it was like, these people probably known each other for even longer probably. And I'm just going to have to like try and fit in a little bit. But it was, it was a nice transition. The bourbon wouldn't come out all the way, so I was trying to like, <laughs> yeah. So that was our mentality. So now we're gonna go into our next topic, friends. The biggest problem. That that school. that's that's the that's the biggest because I'm, we're gonna talk about sixth, seventh, and eighth grade friends and <sighs> losing friends, fake friends, gaining friends, how I gained friends, how she got friends. So lose. Well, we'll start with gaining friends first, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sixth grade. Um, I'm not gonna even like. I'm like not trying to be cocky, but in elementary, me and my friend group, we were like probably somewhat popular. People knew us, and we always like we were together all the time. But going into sixth grade, I knew, I kind of felt like it was gonna stay like that. But you know, reality hits, and it's just like everybody kind of just went their own ways. We had other people, obviously, from other schools. And that was even harder because, I mean, you know, new people, but I love new, new, new people. I mean, who wouldn't? So when going into middle school, obviously I had my friend group, um, mostly the girls, though, because the boys, you know, 
boys, I don't know what their friends and Cooties. I don't know. They the way they gain friends is like so different from girls. I have no idea why, but they did their own thing. So I had my friend group, but everything was fine. I mean, maybe like the first week or two, we were always together. We always ate lunch together. We always walked each other to classes. I mean, I would I wasn't really into that mode of gaining friends or more friends because. I don't know, I just wasn't interested into that yet because, yet again, like I said, I was very focused on other things more important, and I don't know, I mean, I like talking to other people, but it's just, it wasn't my thing to do. I'll go 6th grade and 7th grade. Because our 8th grades are really different. <laughs> my 6th grade is, okay, so, the first day, I was nervous because I was right, well, my mom was like, my mom, we, me and my mom have this ritual. We go, she drops me off on the first day of school. And, cause like, that's just how it is. And I was just really nervous because I like, didn't know where anything was. All these people had already probably, well, actually, no, I went to orientation and I tried, I was like, hi. And they wouldn't, like, people would just look at me and I'm just like, okay. I was really crusty in sixth grade. Like, we'll put pictures around here. I was so crusty. So, of course, people didn't like what I looked like. But anyway, I went to orientation. Did you go to orientation? I don't know. You did it? Oh, no. I went to orientation. I had a hard time, trust me. First day, I was the only one who knew how to open that locker, and everyone was asking me how to open the lockers. I'm like, oh my god. I and have... that's how I got friends. I, everyone kept asking me to open lockers. I was like, hi, I'm Raquel. And then, you know, I go into classes, and then you introduce people, and then we had this, like, the like the first week of school, everyone was, like, trying to get to know each other. And I'm, like, in sixth grade. I don't know anybody. But then, like, as time, like, grew on in sixth grade, I started opening up more and people started like you know liking me for my personality which was really nice and then i gained a bunch of friends my like my science teacher i love her to death we used to eat i used to eat in her classroom every single day uh not in sixth grade in seventh and eighth but we'll get on to that later oh class oh, I love i'm gonna bleep out these names because i don't want people to yeah track me but my social studies teacher that is where I gained most of my friends because my social studies teacher was like the coolest teacher ever I didn't even get to say goodbye to him when I moved like I was really upset I was like I didn't even get to say goodbye like that was like but I did see him on the last day I just didn't get to say goodbye to him which was yeah. really awful I, I love him. He always give me food. Yeah. Oh my god. No, I would always sneak into his class during like lunchtime or like after school yeah. practices. And he'd be like, why are you here? And then people would like... I love but friend. my social studies teacher, that's where I gained most of my friends. Because he just let us talk. Like we mm -hmm. never got any homework. I didn't even do my final. Yeah, my <laughs> final. Because he, he, gave us, he gave us like affirmations of like what yeah. he thought we were going to be in the next few years. Other than that, he was a great teacher. I yeah. learned a no, lot. No, no, no. He that. was a great teacher. Like not so much social studies. But like he was great as, as life, uh, he was, at yeah, life. life. At, yeah, like he was like a life coach teacher. Yeah. Like he was girl great. Means world. He was great. <laughs> he was great. I, and it just started going off from like PE and other classes, and then you know I became one of those popular girls. Not gonna like, not gonna brag or anything, but people knew who I was. <laughs> yeah. And I was. Okay, that was seventh grade was probably better for me and friends. Um. Seventh grade, I walked into seventh grade kind of lonely, honestly, because sixth grade was a very lonely stage of my life. I mean, I really only had her. I met her when we met. Uh, we met like at lunch. Yeah, we met like second. We, we I don't know what, but we just clicked. Thing sixth grade, I did lose a lot of friends because you know, no shade again, but you know they wanted to be something that they weren't, mm -hmm. and I didn't like that. I mean, I was still my same person, obviously, because I lost friends. I mean. I didn't try to go and be something something I wasn't, um, but you know I also had her still. I always had her by my side, and I also had other people. But we did also bump heads. We always had problems sometimes with that girl. We'll yeah. talk about her. We always have. We always bump heads. We still bump heads to this day. Yeah, we bumped heads this we morning. We just always have something to argue <laughs> about. But that's the great about a relationship. Like yeah. never, there's never a dull moment ever. Yeah. Okay, so my friend, my friend group in seventh grade was sort of like like different, I guess. So there was this girl, I'm not gonna say her name, but we did like fall off. She kept calling me fake and like saying all these rude things about me, spreading rumors about me, and I just didn't like it. Uh, and I was just like, I don't want that in my life. I don't like negativity. But I also have like a lot of stuff that happened like in 
I had a lot of stuff happen. Like, I started losing friends because stuff was happening to me in, in January. January to, like, April. I was going through a lot. She knows what I was going through. And it was really, really bad. And I just, like, didn't care about anybody. I cared. I didn't even care about myself, to be honest. Like, I stayed in my room all the time. And it was just, like, it was awful. And... I lost a lot of friends, but I also gained. I also got closer with her. Losing friends is is not a bad thing. Sometimes you just grow out of friendships. You might have gotten friendships in sixth grade that you're like, oh yeah, this is gonna be my best friend for life. But they might you might not know them all the way completely. Like me and our, me and our art class, like our art class in seventh grade was like we were tight like the boy yeah. side oh and God. the girl side like we would like we would get in trouble by our teacher because we were like talk all the time and this one girl always like you know got us we had problems with her yeah um we had problems. she has manipulatively lied she lied on me to get her to not be friends with me and other stuff and she did that to same for me and then my our, and our other sort of friend um and like she was just like she was just a fake friend like she literally what the first or the second day of school oh my God. the second day of seventh grade she actually like like she spread a whole rumor about victoria but the thing is she wasn't in our class at first yeah when this happened she moved oh my gosh she and then like maybe <laughs> like a week later she moved into our class and i wanted to leave and we, so were, and we were like we we're like we need to switch out of this class yeah we were right like now. we need to switch out or we're gonna have to move another seat and then she was like best friends with my friend with, now. With, and like it was just like they would she would sit with us jenna would sit with us and we were just like like, we're just like, but then I remember she apologized to me, and I was like, You were like, okay, but like, I didn't really I still know what like, to say, yeah. but I didn't trust her. Yeah. But I usually only talk to her, and I mean, maybe it sounds bad, but I only talked to her because my best friend was best friends with her. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna be that friend that's gonna take you away from somebody. I'm gonna have to get along. It's just maturity. She also spread that, well, yeah, she spread that like thing around about uh, our friend. Yeah. And then went to the counselor about it. And it was like a drug problem. It was like a drug thing. And... It took so many weeks to obviously get that out of her. Yeah. Like, we always were just like... We were like, you're lying. Like, like we know you said it. And she was like, no, I didn't say it. This girl said it. This other girl said it. And we were like, no, we know you said it. And then she finally said it, like, two weeks later after we were like, we knew you said it. But that's our fake friend story, yeah. sort of. Like, um, we, we don't really have fake friends. Yeah. Like, I like, pick my friends wisely. Problem. And also, like, when you're observing people, I say observe six, uh, like, sort of get, like, you know, the feel of them in seventh and, like, closer with them. And then, like, really close if you, like, feel like you still have, like, you know, you can still, like, vibe with them in, like, eighth grade. Like, in eighth grade, we have different stories about it because I moved schools in the, in the half season of eighth grade, as you guys know, because I moved all the way from Richmond to Katy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But now we're going to move on to style. <laughs> issues. We're gonna start with style. You can still keep eating that if you want to. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okie dokie. So we're gonna put our like styles up like in the middle of us or on the side of us. I don't know where. But <laughs> okay. So I used to have this like knockoff makeup, like LA Colors makeup in sixth grade, and I used to like you know put that on because I thought it was like all glamorous and stuff. I did not know how to make put makeup on. I stole my sister's brushes. Didn't know how to blend anything, and I didn't do my eyebrows. So my eyebrows look ratchet. But in sixth grade, my style was a little bit like. People used to call me, like, a goth kid, but I was, like, really light and fluffy. Because, like, I used to wear only red, black, white, and blue. Like, every single one of my pictures either has red, black, white, or blue. And then I finally, at, like, the last week of school, finally got something that was, like, yellow. Seventh grade, I, start, I started, like, um, I started getting a little more comfortable with my style. I started branching out a little bit more. Started wearing a lot more color that, like you know brought out my skin tone a little bit better and i started um wearing makeup maybe in like march of seventh grade and that really like not like changed me but like i started like getting more comfortable with my skin like as you can see i'm wearing my eyebrows i love doing eyebrows 
duh but i started getting makeup in like january of seventh grade but not the makeup that i wanted but in march i got the makeup that i really wanted like my high-end makeup and i started experimenting that and then i got really good over spring break and i started wearing like eyebrows and stuff and just like you know i started like changing myself not like changing like who i was not in a bad way not in a bad but way a but way. i started like you know i started branching out i started becoming who i am like now in eighth grade i I definitely wear a lot more color. I wear... you experienced... I've had a better style. I have a better style now. Like, you can see, like, any of Colors. my... Colors. Yeah. Like, I never used to wear dresses or anything, like, like dress, oh. like, girlyish. We were tomboys. Yeah. <laughs> I still am. So we still am, but... Yeah, I still am, but I do I branch out before. once in a while. I'm a um, in December, I'm going to a competition, and I have, and it's like a cheer prom, sort of, so I have to wear, like, a dress, and it's going to be a cute one. I'm going to do a whole good wedding, whatever, blah, 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 but I'm going to be wearing, like, a dress, so I'm like, you know, I branch out a little bit sometimes, but my style definitely changed. My makeup changed. Well, I don't wear different makeup. I just got more makeup. I wear, like, I wear, like, high-waisted stuff, jeans. I wear leggings. I wear sweatpants. I wear, I wear sweatpants all the time in school when I moved schools. Like, I used to just wear sweatpants because I didn't care what I wore. And I just, like, you know, I changed it up once in a while. I wore, like, shoes differently. And, like, I wore, like, Brandy Melville. I wore PacSun, Urban Outfitters. Like, that was my style, sort of. I usually go to PacSun to get my jeans or American Eagle to get my jeans. Like, if you can see any jeans that I wear, they're either from PacSun or American Eagle, so. Okay, my style, mm, sixth grade. I don't know who let me out of the house like that. <laughs> But I literally wore jackets all the time. I didn't even match. No, I, I never used to match. I wore like blue and then like I used dark to jeans all the and time. then like pink shoes. Like didn't even make sense. But and I always had my hair was always oh, in a bun. bun. Girl, why? I had a classic bun though. Like grade was when I kind of started getting a little bit insecure because I um. I do certain things because I hope I, like, I don't know, meet up to certain people's standards. And um, it kind of faded away, though, like, going into eighth grade and stuff like that. I just kind of did my own thing. But I still have a little part of me, like, I just, I don't know, like, I care what people think and, like, how I dress. And eighth grade, um, it got a little bit better. I mean, I finally looked decent i yeah, looked we great we all blew up in eighth grade we all like i started putting my hair down more i had i mean i still wore jackets but yeah. i i like i always had like a tank top on i like had them like half open then i had like my cute little shoes and i just like and then i kind of got curves in a way because i used to be a zero box a zero but box. then i finally kind of got like a little bit of curves and i mean eighth grade was uh, whew, it was good it was, good. it was good. Yeah, our style changed, baby girls and baby boys. <laughs> we look amazing now, even though it's like 12, 12 a.m. basically. It's 11.50 a.m., but it's 12 a.m. now, basically. And we, I look ratchet. Okay, so my drama, because we're going to start with drama, because drama does happen in school. Of our school, I think, is like a little bit more drama. It depends where you go, because I, I went to two different, different schools in middle school it was a little different my drama didn't even really start until like january of seventh grade because sixth grade was like an unproblematic year we were just figuring out each other we were figuring out the life of middle school and stuff but my drama started in seventh grade maybe around like december-ish like had one of my like best friends i'm not gonna say her name but i'll call her april okay april her name's april <laughs> okay so April and me were like we were like really close like we would tell each other everything and like we got into fights like all the not like all the time but like I just noticed something was off with her and she was like very depressed she started like you know hurting herself and it wasn't like the best environment for me at the time because I was going through stuff at home and that like it like went on to me I guess and I started acting up and nobody really knew why because I d you know when you're depressed you don't really tell anybody and I did go through a phase where I was just like super depressed didn't talk to anybody wore hoodies all the time wore sweatpants all the time you could tell that she, would, she like I, I just like didn't talk to anybody like I was just she I just wasn't myself me, like just like I didn't like tell anybody what was wrong I was just like no I'm fine I'm just in my hoodie like I'm fine like I was just like 
I just want to go home and like go to sleep like I would sleep from when I got home to if I had practice that day and if I didn't have practice that day I would just sleep and then I would sleep and I would then I guess I got out of it maybe in like March I started you know I guess I got out of being depressed I still am a little depressed everyone's a little depressed but like it ain't bad now he really took a toll on my friendships with people especially me in April like during track season we fought like crazy because she was like i she used to tell me a lot of stuff because she had a lot of stuff at home and going on at home and i would just say like like one time i said the stupidest thing ever and like i like regret it to this day and like she was like i can never talk to you again like don't talk to me you're the, the rudest person ever i hate you and it was just like we didn't talk for like maybe like three weeks like we became better friends than we were before when before I told her what I told her and like drama happens like it's not even just like what happens like with you but it happens like you're gonna get caught up with drama between everybody like when I moved over to my school in eighth grade which was the worst thing ever because I was like oh my god I'm gonna move but I also wanted to move because I hated my school and like I hated the I didn't hate the people there, I hated the staff there. So like, I was just like, I wanted to leave and I left, but then I was like, oh my God, no one's gonna like me. I only, I only know one person here. But then I was like, wait a minute, maybe some, maybe like she'll introduce me to her friends and then everything else. And you know, I'm still a little popular here too. So people know me. <laughs> um, and like it was it was like a it was a nice transition because i got away from all the drama that was at our school with friends and my family because nobody knew me here and um but t-o-r-y there you go because you're not anyway um tori she um she thought i called her a hoe and i didn't call her a hoe but she thought i did and she got people to like sort of like <clears throat> mess with me around the school she's like why did you say that why did you say that blah 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 and i got bullied for like maybe like a week or so by like some people that i didn't even know but like people are gonna people are gonna think that you do something and you don't like that it's just rumors <laughs> bless you sorry it's just rumors you gotta get over the rumors you know rumors are stupid and it's bad but i had a best friend and um we uh we were best friends since like kindergarten we like we're like the closest like friends ever like we just were always together and going into sixth grade um we obviously thought we we're gonna be like we're gonna be together we're gonna be like the power power kids <laughs> and go like you know meeting new people we obviously met other people but then um time where I knew she was kind of changing and it wasn't a good thing and um she just started acting like not herself and it was kind of making me like a little upset because I knew how she is I know her and it just it was like are you like serious like so we fell off like pretty bad so our next topic is relationships and this is a big one and it actually happened to me and in eight, for all the girls Yes, for all the girls, uh, please, like, if I don't know if you skipped through this video or something, but th I feel like this is something all girls should hear. And I'm very upset with myself that I let it happen. And I wish I didn't have to go through this at a young age and no one should. And it's, it's like, not something you want to go through. But, so, obviously I have the longest story, so I'm going to go ahead and tell mine. But like If you want to get into a relationship, make sure you get to know... The that person. person that person needs to be able to treat their friends just how like like if they're if they don't treat their friends or their best guy friends like how they want it how you want how you want to be treated don't get in a relationship with them because they're going to treat you the same exact way in a way and if your friends have like suspicion suspicions listen about to them, them listen they to know them. what's best for you so sixth grade obviously we had little flings i talked to boys obviously nothing serious and so I got in seventh grade, and it was like oh, the yeah. middle of the year, and we Chris, had this. Chris, Chris, Chris. Hey, we're gonna call him Chris, and oh my god, okay. So I met him in this class, and it was actually because my friend had liked him, and I was like, okay, who's this like freaking bozo over here? Like, okay, so he walked in my class, and I was like, 
oh, he's kind of cute. But you know, obviously, I didn't mess she with him because naked. she was. And um, I was like, okay, so I got his Snapchat, and it took like two weeks for him to finally add me. <laughs> and he started texting me, and I told one of my friends to go tell him that I liked him, and I didn't even know this guy. Just <laughs> that's something that was a mistake I had. So, um, he, I guess he didn't believe her. And we texted that same day, I think. I don't know. But um, he was, like, acting weird during text. And I was like, is it because of what she told you or something like that? And he was like, what did she, what did she tell me? Um, but obviously, I didn't know everything about him. And, and during the summer, we had problems, a lot of problems. We started bumping heads a lot. Um, we were very on and off. I remember I broke up with him because he would always call me names and... He would always just, he was very, like, abusive in a way. Like, abusive also, like, just the thing, abusive does not have to, he doesn't have to hit you for it to be abusive. It can be anything as in mental, just, like, anything like that. Like, emotionally abusive. Yeah. And he'd always talk about other girls in front of me, and it always made me upset. He didn't treat me right, and um, I always told my mom about it, and she was just like, no, you need to end it. You need to end it. And I just didn't want to. Like, I wanted to, I wanted it to work. And it just, it never did. And it was like going to seventh grade, um, we already broke up twice. And we were still like... We Wait, this isn't going into seventh grade? This is going into seventh grade, yeah. What? Oh, I mean, going into eighth grade, I was Sorry. like, what? So everything that's happened in seventh grade. Going like, into eighth grade. only in sixth grade. <laughs> going into eighth grade, um, we were still, we, we weren't together, but... Till like one day, like a month later, he like texted me. We got back together. We were fine, but we bumped heads again. And um, all my friends, they were all telling me to like stop going out with him. But I was like, you know what? I love him. Okay, I'm going to go out with him. But I was like, you know, only me and him know what uh, happened in our relationship, and we know we know each other. And everybody else just knows that we're on and off. But you know, we're kids, and like I'm supposed to forgive you and stuff like that. That's just my mentality. Like that's just how I thought and my mom would always tell me like if that's like abusive and I was just like no it's not like you know he doesn't hit me or anything he's just he just calls me names like I just was like okay well you know I call him names back too in a way he cheated and I found out later on um after we broke up but one of the last times we got together um, we tried again and I was very happy because I mean he he really did change in a way but at the end, I felt like, you know, this wasn't going to happen. And I just, like, I didn't feel it anymore. And I stopped caring. Recently, he texted me and was like, you know, I want you back. And I was like, I never thought I'd have the courage. But I was like, no, like, I'm not going to. Like, you treated me like trash. And you made me feel like, like I wasn't anything to you. Okay, so now I'm going to say mine really quickly because, like, mine's not really, like, bad. relation. Mine's not bad. It's actually, like, really good. I really like it, so. Yeah. Um, in seventh grade, I came out as bi in seventh grade, maybe in, like, October, and with my friends. I didn't tell you first. I told April. I think that was what her name was in the last movie. I told april first and then i told other people and then i told you because i was scared to tell you mm -hmm. i was I, i'm scared i see i was scared to tell a lot of people but then like i got around the whole school so i was just like i don't care anymore but uh um, it's not something you should be ashamed of if, yeah if you're like you should be who you want to be yeah and if your parents don't accept it i feel sorry but you know you're gonna be who you want to be yeah you should just be who you want to be you only live once I, like one of my like really really good friends um i met at theater camp and like you know we were like just like we were just friends like it was just like nothing and i didn't know any like we were just like best friends and she was like awesome and stuff and then i didn't even know she was by but like she we figured this out maybe in october maybe like maybe like a week and a half after i came out and like we facetimed for like literally like i think 13 hours overnight like like we like went to sleep like twice on the FaceTime call and woke up and then I wrote her this long message because we like got to know each other a lot like better a lot better and like we were just like yes we were connecting she was like I was like I like wrote her this like long paragraph about how I feel 
and like how no I just came out and stuff. <laughs> and I like came out and stuff. And then she was like, "Are you confessing your love for me?" I was like, "No, silly. I'm just saying that I like you." And then she was like, and she FaceTimed me. I was like, "Girl, we'll face." She was like, "Girl, I'll FaceTime you tonight, but not right now." And then we like we didn't like we weren't like dating immediately, but we did like date maybe like three days afterwards. And we did have like a year and seven months of a relationship which is pretty long i should say uh we like saw each other frequently i would go to like her theater things because we were like theater junkies i guess her theater um performance and summer camp and it was just like a lot of stuff it was really fun and i really got a lot from, but like maybe like in like september of last year in 2017 we like started having a lot of issues and stuff and we were just like we weren't like fighting or anything we just didn't really like see each other or talk to each other at that much and we were just like it would just be best if we were just friends you know like just like just to save our relationship because i don't i didn't want to lose her as like a friend i like love her like as a person and like she's like one of my like she's like a person like i can go to for anything and like I really enjoy that she like she built up my self confidence cause like I used to be really insecure I still am a little insecure but like she helped build up my confidence she's so, like girl you're like so hot dude like, but yeah like she just made me feel a lot special and I really love her for that um but that's just my relationship that's but, how a relationship should be yeah this this is like basically um what's a it called? comparison yeah of a bad relationship and a good relationship. Not bad. And love yourself before you love really anybody love anybody else because you start depending on the person and that's how it was for me. Next topic. <laughs> the next topic is homework. Homework, it depends who your teachers are, what your classes are, but my school tips. Our school that we use that I go to and then I'm also gonna talk about my school that I go to now. Well, I used to go to because I don't go there anymore because I'm going to high school. But we we got the same amount of homework basically i was in pre-ap everything so i got more homework than she did but it just depends what classes you take make sure you don't take classes that you don't think you're right for if you take pre-ap classes but you're barely but you barely graduated fifth grade with like <laughs> a like a 70 something in math don't take pre-ap just take regular math because you do not want to start off middle school by failing and if you if you know you're smart yeah. enough do it it, yeah. it looks it looks better for you I yeah guess, in a way. but also for electives don't take electives that your friends are taking just because your friends are in it. do what you, you want to do do what you want to do because it'll it like it'll help you in the long run especially for college because it will go by faster than you think like middle school went by like this like it went by so fast all of your stuff honestly girl i'm boys and girls i'm not even gonna lie to you I we cheat we we, get, <laughs> we cheat for homework like if it's like a like a thing where you turn it in at the middle of the class or they pick it up girl get somebody who's in your class period or somebody who has the same exact class as you but in a different period and get their homework but in Even a way if it's work not it work, out though like, like make sure you understand it though yeah make sure you understand it but if you don't have time to do it overnight or something or you're doing something and you don't want to get in trouble by your teachers Get your answers from somebody. Like, ask questions either. Yeah, don't be afraid to ask very questions. Afraid. Don't be one of those people who are who just doesn't ask questions because if you don't ask questions, you're not then you're not going to understand. Anyway, so we're going to talk about our last topic really quickly and that is mistakes, things that we did do that we wish we didn't and how we hope to fix them for um, later on for high school. So, you go first. Okay, well, obviously, we're going to start with friends. We're, let's just go down the list. Yeah. Okay. Um, friends, I... High school, I think I'm going to deserve again, like I did. Um, that's one thing that I did pretty well. Um, I'm going to observe and um, not trust so many more people. Like, I didn't really tell everybody my business, but... Friends, um, style, style, I'm gonna be cool, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna have a better style in high school. Um, drama, I'm gonna stay out of drama, I think, uh, I didn't really have a bad problem with drama, I never started drama just for no reason, because I'm not a messy person, so I don't think I really had too many mistakes, it's just, um, relationship-wise, one thing, just don't go for upperclassmen, even in middle school, just don't do it, they're gonna leave you anyways. Yeah. And, you can um, be friends with them, but don't date them. And just get to know somebody. Don't be best friends with them. I mean, if you want to, just you know. Uh, for work, um, do your work. 
eighth grade year, I did not do work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not do my work at all, and yeah. I wish I did more because I really don't even know what was happening eighth grade year. So it was great in seventh grade. I did my work. I did pretty good, and um, I didn't really have too many mistakes. Really, I did pretty well in middle school. Well, my mistakes. I don't have that many mistakes. I just hope that my like future self that my mistakes were like on and off like I just hope to just be a more positive person like I was known as like a positive person who always smiled who put a smile on people's faces I just hope that I can keep that up and pick my friends wisely in high school like I want to go I when I moved schools I made a really really good group of friends and I really like love my group of friends like I love them to death like they're so funny I love them like some of them are like my best friends already even though I literally just met them maybe like eight months or nine months ago anyway what I was gonna say what I was saying was for my mistakes I hate you for mistakes I just want to make sure that the friends I picked in eighth grade for like aren't gonna be backstabbing or make me feel like I'm not good enough to be in a friend group or whatever. Like, that's what I don't like about big groups. Because everybody in my friend group knows people from... A but, um, yeah, I just want my friends to... I want my style. I've already figured out what I like. So, that's pretty good. Um, my style is just really expensive. So, my drama... I try and stay out of as much drama as I possibly can. If it's drama about me, I still try and stay out of it because drama is just drama. Like it's gonna blow over. It'll be talk it'll be talked about for like a day and it'll blow over the next day. But eh, anyway <laughs> and then relationships, I gonna do the exact same thing I did in seventh and eighth grade. I'm gonna trust my instincts and that usually works for me, so I really like that. My work, I always usually stayed on top of my work. People used to ask me for answers. So, like, I was the person they would ask for answers. I wouldn't ask anybody for answers, but people would ask me for answers. So, I'm just going to keep doing my work, and hopefully that just helps me. But my life has been pretty good. I didn't really make too many mistakes. I just made, like, tiny errors here and there. But I just need to pick my friends wisely in high school because high school, you know, you get, like, three middle schools in one. So, that's a little bit different. But, yeah, we're just going to end this video, I guess, because, one, it's literally 1.15, and we are going to talk. We're tired. Yeah, well. we're tired. Yeah. We're going to talk about life for a little bit, and then we're going to go to sleep. We're going to wake up. And we're going to go. I we're going to eat and I Maybe. Hopefully. And I'm leaving. I think so. <laughs> yeah, and then she's going to leave me. And then I won't see her for a while, but I'll make sure I go over there. But I hope see. you enjoy this video. We haven't. Ended the call. We have, um, I have to do my whole oh, yeah. intro thing. Hey guys, welcome back to the outro. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also, check the description box below for both of our socials. But I will put her socials down below if you want to go follow her. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Love you guys so much. Keep doing what you're doing. But you are perfect in your own special way. And I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for almost 840 subscribers. I really, really appreciate that. And yeah, have a nice day. See you next time on this channel. Bye, guys.